What's up everybody? It's Wick and I am out sourcing today. I went to this Goodwill and Salvation Army and I'm already piling up the profits. Um, so far so good. I got like what seven or eight places still to go. Uh, St. Francis and the rest are just Goodwills but yeah um, I'll just go through this stuff at the end. I've already piled up so much. So uh, let's keep going and keep making some money hopefully. Okay, this is what I found today, outsourcing. Uh, actually, pretty good stuff here, so let's get through it. It's going to be a little dark because it's really cloudy outside, and my lighting in this house is really bad. But let's just start right here with this puzzle. Got this at St. Francis. It's half off day, and this was normally $2.99, so I got it for $1.50. Uh, I got 300,000 rank in toys for puzzles, and I should be able to sell it for $20, $24.99. Pretty nice puzzle. But also at Salvation Army, and the white, unfortunately, was not half off today. The um, These DVDs, they are... Um, they're made by Nest, and they're like Bible animated DVDs. So I ended up pulling up one through the hole and opening it up and looking. The DVDs look, well that one looks, was in there and wasn't scratched. So I went ahead and purchased it for $9.99 because I seen a sold listing of $28 that sold for uh, like $220 and I think shipping on top of that. So um, I think some of these might even be new. I can't tell. But... Uh, yeah, there's more than 28 in here, I believe. I'm not going to sit here and count them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there should be at least 28. So I'm thinking at least I'm making $200 on these DVDs. And it's great because I never really heard of the Nest stuff. But after seeing that, I'm like, wow, I have to keep an eye out for Nest. The very next place I go, uh, St. Francis, I see some Nest VHS that just popped out. Because now I recognize that. But obviously the VHS is not that you know, valuable, but still my point is once you see something and you, you kind of put it in your head for future reference, you start spotting the stuff out and it's, it's really cool how that works. But yeah, like $200 there. Here's this Funglish game, brand new sealed. It was $399. This was $68 new with 300 and some thousand ranking toys. Uh, you know, coming off of Christmas, a lot of the toys are priced a bit higher than they normally are. But it still should be good profits, you know, even if I don't get the 68. I'm always tempted to hold games just all year until the holiday season and try to get more, but not really worth it. For, well, I do have some space now. Maybe it is. Who knows what I'll do. But I also got this sealed Big Trouble game. Uh, there was only used sellers... Uh, about 300000 again, I think, in toys. And it was like $35 for a used one. So I don't know. I'll have to check price history to figure out exactly what I'm going to price this at. I would say at least seventy nine ninety nine. Who knows if I'll get that? Probably. I, I tend to... Games that are on Amazon, that there's no sellers that are new. You can price really high and there's someone out there who will buy it. I got this new Doc... McStuffins, it's a weird doctor name, but this is just a doctor bag, toy doctor set, Disney. Uh, push the try me button, battery still working. That's a huge, you know, plus if you're going to be selling, trying to sell it on FBA, which I am, and I've actually sold probably 20 of these in my lifetime because I found these at Walmart a couple years ago and bought a bunch of them and sold them. 
Well, they're going for $35 now on toys. Uh, I believe it's like 300,000 rank again. I Maybe I'm just you know, blending all these together, but still very sellable. And that $35 could be coming off of the Christmas high. But I do think I sold them around that price before. So we'll see. Uh, this heat control window film, $1.99. These are normally $35. It's never been, you know, it's not used. It's still got the seal around it. I just bought this for myself. And if the box wasn't, you know, so destroyed, I would sell it on FBA probably for $35. Maybe not because it's so long to ship in. Uh, it's something I'll probably use eventually in my lifetime. So I figured I might as well pick it up. I stopped in Bed Bath & Beyond to check out their clearance. A lot of decent stuff like elf on the shelf stuff which is all restricted but it wasn't quite cheap enough i mean i would have bought the elf on the shelf elf on the shelf stuff if it was you know not restricted i could have made some money could have doubled my money on it but i did find this remote control wireless system normally 20 75 percent off so you know five something after tax and <laughs> It was on there for $48, uh, 700000 rank in home improvement. A bit overpriced. Uh, I don't know what I'll actually get for it. It should sell with that rank eventually, and I don't know. I'm thinking more around the $30 range, but it, it'll be profit nonetheless. Picked up some shoes. These fuzzy New Balance shoes. <laughs> uh, when I was out sourcing with Dustin like last year around this time, Actually, maybe almost a year to the date. Uh, I have to check that video, but he picked up some of these at a St. Francis. I don't remember what he paid for these. These were $4.99. So I went ahead and picked them up. They're they're new. I mean, they got some like lint in there, but uh, they've never been worn. So I couldn't find these exact ones. The uh, I don't know where the number is, but the. Yeah, I couldn't find these exact ones. There were some similar ones. And there were some sold, like used, for like 40 50 So I don't know what I'll get for those. But 5 bucks, I'm definitely going to make some money. And I picked up the Saucony shoes. Now these, I almost left. These are really clean until you look at the bottom. And then they're kind of dirty and a little bit worn. But... They were $2.99. I couldn't believe them. I know this is a good uh, running shoe brand. And here in Ohio, spring is, you know, getting there in you know, a couple more months. But uh, these for $2.99, and with the condition they're in, I'm sure I could, you know, $20, $25, bucks I could sell them for and still make some money at that $2.99 price. So I picked those up. St. Francis here. <laughs> Going through the little remote tote. I've seen this one for 99 cents. And I threw it to the side like, oh, just a universal remote. Then I'm like, oh, this could be one of those weird remotes that people are still looking for that's universal. And I think it is. You know, it has over a thousand reviews. And I think it was $28 used, I believe. Um, so real clean. Doesn't even really look like it's been used. So 99 cents. Funny, St. Francis, all their other remotes were like $1.99 and the batteries have exploded in them and they were filthy. And they priced you know, the one valuable one for $0.99. Cents. They have no idea what they're doing there with prices. Who knew 10 game used? Looked like all the pieces were in there. $2.99. I always pick these up because they sell well used. I mean, if you get them cheap enough, I pick them up. About 3 bucks is all I'll spend. But, um, like right now, they're $35 used, like 80 some dollars new. Uh, it's, it's because of Christmas. Price will drop off over the summer back down to like 20 bucks used. So, this one I'll probably save. Um, just one of those games that, you know, do pretty well used. So, I, I usually don't sell used games. It's pretty easy to just, you just count some cards and some chips in your. Always check to see if the instructions are in there. If they're in there, then I, I'll go ahead and make the purchase. Picked up a couple cassette players. Here's some Radio Shack ones. I'm going to sell this for $15-$20. Bucks. Uh, I paid $1.99 for it. Uh, this realistic 
um, tape player, it is like super clean condition. Sorry about the glare, I kind of have my, my phone light on here trying to get some extra light. Uh, not really a popular one, but these things still will sell if they work. The rubber bands go bad in them, but they'll still work or still sell for 20 to 25 dollars. Uh, I did notice a couple on there, price kind of low. I might have to wait till they sell. Uh, what we have here Christmas Carol kit, one of those little junior word working kit things. This was $2.99 and I believe it had kind of a high rank of like 500,000 in toys. Uh, man, I don't remember what it sold for. 35 or 25, 30 bucks, I think. So it was like $12 profit. So I just grabbed it because, you know, why not? This will probably go in my Christmas storage totes for next year since it's a Christmas Carol kit. Uh, over here, I got these SpongeBob. Figures. I think these were in the 30s on Amazon, but I'm not going to be able to sell them as new because that package is a little rough, but I can sell them like new, uh, still sealed, the package damage makes some money. They were only $2.99, maybe eBay, so you know, I just grabbed them. And then here's all the hats I got. So I stopped at a Goodwill and they had all these nice hats. These hats are all, from what I could tell, new. Um, never worn. They still got the stickers. Um, they're really, you know, cool. They're the the fifty nine fifty. Uh, they're fitted. So the only thing wrong with them is they got like dust on them, which was just no problem. But man, there's there's some really cool looking hats. So two ninety nine. Goodwill's hats are usually a dollar forty nine. So. Uh, too bad they weren't all $1.49, but for $2.99, I'm, not, I'm no hat expert, but I think I should do well on those, make at least $10 a piece. There's 11 here, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so maybe if I make $10 a piece on them, it's 120 bucks. I don't know what the price I'm at, $15 to $24.99, I'll just have to do some comparable um, checks there. But yeah, that's it. I mean, the hats should clear me a hundred. The DVDs, two hundred. Everything else, another hundred at least, so maybe four, five hundred. I don't know. A great day. Uh, I've been having great days going out. I've been only going out pretty much once a week sourcing, and it just blows my mind. Like if I was going, you know, five days a week, you know, how much more I would be getting, but. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Um, please subscribe. You know everything to do. Come on, I don't need to tell you every time. This has been Wick. Till next time.